was a clip from The Tourist. Uh, all episodes are available right now on HBO Max. Congratulations on the show. Huge hit. Massive hit on BBC One. Huge hit on HBO Max. <laughs> I really, really love this show. I, it's so brilliant. If anyone who hasn't caught it yet, explain to us what it's about and who you play. So I play a guy called The Man. I mean, it's literally in the script called The Man. I was like, I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> And he's uh, in, a, in the outback of Australia, um, seems to be in quite a good place, quite happy in, in, in himself until he's suddenly chased by this massive truck and hit off the road like you saw in the clip there. Wakes up in the hospital, no memory of who he is, why he's in Australia, and then we spend six hours sort of piecing together how he got to that point, and it's pretty dark how he got to that point. Um, but there's a lot of humour in it too, I think that's what's interesting, I think that's why the show's worked. It's, melding humour and drama and very sort of strange drama, um, you know, pretty seamlessly. So, uh, yeah, fun one to do, but a hard, hard job. It's, it's a brilliant show. The construct is amazing. Obviously, you shot the whole, the whole show in Australia. Yeah. Lots of actors, lots of things filming out in Australia at the point when you made the show. Was there any... Did you cross paths with any other film crews in bars of hotels and things like that? Uh, no, we were so remote where we were. We did our quarantine in Sydney, where you guys were shooting Sydney yeah. around the same time. You were but in the bush. We were in the bush, like it. On Let's not get too personal. <laughs> <Let's>... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are they more calm because you're dressed as a businesswoman? Yeah, because I come in peace, but I mean business, and he knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell that. You come in peace, but you mean business. I love that. <laughs> I love it. What is your favorite form of naturally occurring reverb? Do you like reverb <laughs> that, for instance, is in a canyon? Do you like an echo to come back to you? What's, what's your favorite reverb in a natural setting? You know... <laughs> this reverb right now. <laughs> Jamie? I like the reverb that... Humming mix <laughs> in my own skull. <laughs> Reg? It was, a, it was a trick question, and they were they answered it precisely. It's correct. It's Thank precisely you. correct. Yeah. Please thank our <laughs> Thompson, Jamie John, and everybody. We'll be right back. When, when you first moved to London, you worked in a pub, oh. actually not too far from here. Was it sort of Hyde Park corner way? Yeah, yeah, uh, Knightsbridge. Right? Uh, Knightsbridge. Yeah. It's called. You, I imagine you were good. I could see you being a good barman. I, probably better than I am an actor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, no, it was uh, it was it was kind of bleak time to be honest. Uh, I loved working in a bar, but people are rude. You know, people are. Yeah. There's a, one guy used to come in every day and click his fingers at me. No. Like, I mean, yeah, it was a bad, it was a bad thing. Well, he would be like, yeah. can I get a drink? Yeah. No. Yeah. I remember his What's face. What's that prick? If he, I mean, if he's here. <laughs> I honestly, I will never forget the guy's face. And what a prick. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, good times. I went back there for the first time uh, after 19 years, my wife. Because it, it it's right by Yozuma. That's yes. Like, very, like, fancy. Fancy uh, Japanese uh, restaurant. Japanese restaurant. Mm. And when I was working there, I used to be out bringing the bins out, and I'd be like, like Freddie Lundberg and all these like footballers and stuff would be going past with these like sort of like Miss World women and I'd be covered in like bin juice. Oh! And, like throwing bottles into, into a wheelie bin and thinking, I oh, want one day. So my wife and I last year were going to Zuma and uh, I said, let's come and let's have a pint in uh, Tattersall's Tavern, it's called. And that's what, what it was. Oh, oh, look at you. Did you think, oh, I've made it or was the guy still like, mate, can I get a... <laughs> Thankfully, he wasn't there. I, I had a wee cry, actually. It was, it was emotional. It was weird. It hasn't changed at all. The pub's exactly the same. It used to be two meals for a fiver. I think they've ramped up the prices. Right. <laughs> yeah. but, um, but it's identical. Yeah. Now